You have become experts at identifying all of the elements of fictional stories. You will continue to enjoy wonderful characters, amazing settings, and interesting plots as you independently read. Our new objective in reading is to understand elements of nonfiction in order to develop a clear understanding of the text that is being read. We have new characters, setting, and plots to meet and experience, but this time they're real, and we'll find them in non-fictional texts like science and history books, magazines, and newspapers. The table of contents is located at the beginning of books and magazines. It provides page numbers to locate specific chapters or articles. Titles and subtitles indicate the content that you are about to read. Diagrams provide information visually to explain something that may have labels or captions to provide additional details. Captions provide descriptors of a picture, an illustration, chart, or diagram that you may find in a nonfiction text. Maps are also another visual representation that may be used in a nonfiction text to show where something is or may have happened, depending on what your content is. Bold words are key words, and they indicate that you should slow down and really understand the sentence and information that you're reading. A glossary is located at the back of a book and it lists vocabulary definitions in alphabetical order. The index is also found in the back of a book and it lists relevant topics covered in the text in alphabetical order. When all the elements of non-fictional text are understood, you will enjoy a deeper meaning of the information. Now we will explore a variety of non-fictional texts to identify, discuss, and understand the table of contents, titles and subtitles, diagrams, captions, maps, bold words, glossary, and index. Are you ready to be experts? Let's go!